hello guys in this video I'm going to demonstrate you how you can broadcast message using signal R in ASP.NET Core Razor pages so here I am going to follow this official document of Microsoft to achieve that so the first step is to create a new project or web project so I have already created that you can see here this is the project created so now what I need to do in the solution explorer we need to add client site library now I will right click on the project and from here I will go to add and then I will click on here client site library from here I will choose this one and now in the library section I will copy this and I will paste it here okay from here I will choose the specific and from here I will choose dist in the browser and in the browser I will check the signal R and signal R min and I will change the target location and the target location will be the this one will be the target location so I will change it here and I will make it like this and now I will click on install now installation is done so now you can see the file here signal r and signal r dot min dot js is available in the js folder so now what I will do the next step is create signal r hub so now I will go ahead and create signal r hub so what I will do I will first create a folder with the name of hubs okay and I will create it at the root of the project and from here new folder and here I will paste it and I will name it as hub and from here I will right click and I will add a class here and I will name it hub dot c so let me check chat hub sorry so now I will name it as chat hub dot cs I will click on add now you can see it is adding a new class or new cs file here so you can see it has added a new cs file so now i will inherit here hub and this hub will come from here from this namespace I will copy that namespace and I will paste it here. Okay, now you can see we can the error is gone now. And from here, I will copy this. And I will simply paste it here. Okay, and now I need to. Okay, now I need to configure the signal R in the startup.cs file. So now I will move to startup.cs. So here it is. And here in this file, I need to inherit the chats folder. So sorry, not to inherit, I need to use using the project name and our project name is web app razor pages dot hubs yes and now I can add it services in the configure services inside this method I will add here services dot add signal r yes so now you can see I have added the class signal r here and here in the endpoint okay yes 
I already, I already go now so here I also need to add an endpoint for signal R map hub and inside this hub it should be the class name and that class name is chat hub which is present inside the hubs folder and here I need to give the path chat hub so that is all what we need to do and the next thing is we need to add the text box so you can see that this is the page what I need to add so what I will do I will go ahead in the index.cshtml file and I will okay sorry I will not replace the complete code but I will add this code here in the index.html so I will paste it here okay so now it's done now I need to also add a JS folder so I will create or copy this and I will create this file inside JS folder so I will go to JS folder and here I will create or add one JavaScript file so I will move here and I will move here to here and I will name it like chat.js so and here I will paste the JS code okay so this code is done now and now what I need to do I need to okay run the app so it's so simple I will go here in index and I will run this now you can see our project is running so I will do one more thing I will copy this URL I will also open the same in this URL as well so that I can test and I will also open one more browser to test whether it is broadcasting the message or not So now this is the Firefox browser and here as well I will paste and you can see it is showing me or asking me for HTTPS certificate validation but I will just proceed it. So now you can see here I have three client that means I am running the same URL in three browser or we can see three clients so well, the first one is Microsoft Edge second one is the Firefox third is the Google Chrome so now suppose I am currently in Microsoft Edge and I am putting it as Raj and I am adding here message hello so if I will and again if I will send it so you can see it is showing Raj says hello but you can also see here that it is also the message is also coming here and here as well that means I am broadcasting the message to all the user who have connect currently connected with the signal R okay all the signal R have so let me also put a different name here so I will name it Rinku and here I will name it uh, I will put a message hey right and the third one I am going to put here is Amit and here I am going to put the message like 
वेलकम टू सिग्नल आर ओके सो सपोज अमिट इज सेंडिंग द मैसेज वेलकम टू सिग्नल आर द सेम मैसेज विल आल्सो बी रिसीव्ड टू ऑल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज फायरफॉक्स एंड दिस इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एच सो दिस मैसेज इज गोइंग टू एवरी वन सो आई एम नाउ गोइंग टू टाइप हेलो अमित सो यू कैन सी अमित इज ऑल्सो बाइंड हेयर एंड आई कैन ऑल्सो सी हेयर दैट हेयर अमित इज ऑल्सो हेयर एंड हेयर ऑल्सो हेलो अमित इज कमिंग ओके सो हेयर लेट मी टाइप आई एम ऑल्सो ऑनलाइन ओके सो लेट मी सेंड इट सो यू कैन सी रिंकु सेज okay i am also online and same message also appearing here i am also online and the same message also appearing here i am also online so like this you can broadcast the message using signal r right and now suppose i don't want to access this like chatting feature like this currently you can see anyone can come here and just put a message but i want someone to log in in the application and only then that person can access it so what i will do i will let me stop it first so i will go to chat hub and here at the top i will put here authorize and now it will not let me add its name space okay so this is the name space so that is added here okay at the top this is the authorize name space so now let me run the application again and now you can see that i will not be able to send the message until i have not logged in into the system or into the uh project so let's wait now you can see our project is running once again so you can see here as i have implemented or put an authorize attribute uh, okay uh, so you can see here this send message is disabled now that means i cannot send or chat with anyone okay and in the same way let me go ahead here and let me refresh it so here again you can see in the chrome as well the send message button is disabled and here again let me put here refresh so here you can see as well that send message is disabled so how we can send the message now so to do that i need to log in here so now you can see i have logged in with the credential of vinit at yopmail.com so now you can see i am able to send the message so let me put here like uh i am going to name it as vinit and i will put message hello and let me click on send so once i send here you can see it has come here so let me check whether this user have also received the message or not but you can see here uh, the message is not reached to the receiver okay and here again you can see this message is also not here so let me here create a new user Okay, suppose I am going to name it or put like this yopmail. dot com. And I have entered my password here. Okay, I will click on register. And now you can see I am a. Uh, i have logged in here so now you can see here again the send message is so the send message button is enabled i will put here the name and the 
message and I will click on send message so you can see Trials and message hello team and here again in the Chrome okay here I have not loaded in the Firefox you can see I have received the message because here I have loaded with this email and in the edge I have loaded with this email and let me also log in with a new email so let me register a new user here so suppose I am going to use it okay so I have created a new account here so you can see this is new email and now again here I can send the message and here so I will send this message you can see Amit says hello team can you hear me and this message is being broadcast so cause of that everyone will able to see this message and here again you can see it has received this sorry this is the sender actually ok this emit and here again you can see and let me reply here hello Amit you can see it's visible here and the same thing is visible at Amit account as well here you can see right and the same thing thing is available also available here ok so like this you can implement chat functionality or actually this is the broadcast chat functionality using the signal R. so in the next video i will also show you how you can chat one to one means if suppose Vinit only wants to send the message to Rajhans then it will be possible so in the next video i will demonstrate that to you so that's all guys in this video so if you like this video please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button that's all thank you thanks for watching